Hey everybody, my name is Kedam, welcome back for another video of Humankind. We're gonna continue this series, boys. In the last video, we actually ended up uh, doing quite a lot. We created those two outposts right here. An outpost to connect Nepada, uh, well, uh, in order to connect it to Nepada, and another one right here. Hold on, right here, there we go. We connected an outpost right here to Audagas. And we're prepared to do the same right here. The problem is we gotta wait a little bit before doing it. Just because uh, I don't have enough influence points, so I gotta wait until I have enough influence points. Also, uh, we uh, did an outpost over there to connect Nock with two different outposts. So Nock is really growing up fast now. It's got uh, two outposts and everything. So that's uh, really good for us, boys. The rest, I don't really know too much what to do. I guess we can just skip ahead. There's not a whole lot. Uh, there is, there is uh, soon enough, going to be an early site that we're going to be able to build or to research and stuff like that. But right now, it seems like we're doing fine, as is. And we're also looking, as we turn, uh, we're going to be about to be in turn 59. We also are looking to go towards the, um, the other continent right here. Start uh, exploring the, a little bit more this continent, unknown continent. And... Uh, possibly getting an outpost over here, which is where I'm sending my uh, uh, army right here. So we've got uh, some population uh, across the board, every, like always, of course. We do have an event right here that's waiting for us to interact with. Uh, we're just going to send my army really quick into the sea. So we're definitely going to do that, boys. Send my army into the sea. They're going to cross the channel right here. They're going to be secure. They should be secure into the sea. That's perfect. And for the rest, for the fleet right here, we're just going to keep exploring really quick. Just keep exploring. It seems like there might be, I see some shores right here. There might be another continent right here, boys, waiting for us to be discovered. So uh, that should uh, do the trick. Also, uh, we're, we're pretty much maxed out in terms uh, of all the outposts that we've got, right? So we don't have any more outposts that we can do. Uh, I will make sure to see if uh, there is any more outposts that, uh, that we can possibly uh, create over here. But I think we've got about everything that I wanted. So we don't need to worry too much about anything really. Uh, this guy right here, so Alagast, you are gonna go ahead and get yourself attached to this uh, little outpost right here. There we go. Since we cannot get five cities i'm pretty much uh i don't have an, any other choice but to get these outposts done and ready so we're gonna connect this this one right here hold on i'm gonna just quickly build a farmer squatter because it needs to be done get the artist and squatter there we go also uh i think that's about it right that's yeah that's the only artist and squatter we needed we also have a cathedral that we can build obviously plenty of them over here let's just build one of them right here I guess there I go so the cathedral has been built uh, that's perfect we are gaining a lots of resources here here and now we can actually start spending some more so spend a little bit more right here into the food need a lot of people for the food production so there's a go maxed out on the food and where do we go now because the one that we're producing the less it seems like it's the science department Influence, we're gaining quite a lot, but I feel like we need to really work on these things. If we're not losing stability, I don't really care about uh, gaining too much influence per turn. I feel like we need to work on these things instead. So let's work on the uh, on this right here, which they apparently they want me to build right there. So we're, we're going to do exactly that. I would guess I, I don't think he got uh, any uh, other populace. We've got uh, Kerma right here. Which is fine the way it is. Nepada right here, really struggling in terms of uh, of this right here. This is not good, boys. Are really struggling. They've got yeah, they've got three outposts. So no wonder it's struggling right now. It's got way too many outposts. Problem over here is we can get 45 population, but we got 17, and we only ha since we only have 17. Seems like we're struggling big time. I mean, the stability is very hard to get by. Very hard to get some stability in, in that city, boys. I don't know how to do the, uh, how to do anything about this, or what to do anything about uh, uh, what to do about this. It's, it's, it's very hard to understand what to do. 
and also for knock i guess so knock i want to make sure everything's fine yes everything seems fine and we're still building up on all these on all these projects all right then so the only thing we got left to do in this turn because we did get an extra era star from uh building the districts and whatnot we're just waiting on the population so we need four more population which we should have in the next turn or the turn before that uh, after that and that's going to lead us to four stars which when we look at it the closest to us is an unknown civilization that is pretty much in the medieval era i believe i think they are in the medieval era so we're way above them in terms of might uh in terms of era might and stuff like that all right so for the next part there's one thing i forgot to do is an arbor boys i didn't do an arbor uh we need to do that we definitely need to create some arbors over here so let's create those uh, get rid of the uh, research quarters really quick and just create the, an arbor right here. Yeah, that's uh, that's perfect. That's exactly what we want. And uh, I guess for the arbor, I guess, yeah, that's going to be closest right here. So create an arbor, uh, spawn the ships over here instead of all the way over there. And uh, now we're going to get uh, working on that. We're going to start working on that science again, boys. So let's start working on that science again. All right, here we go. Next up, uh, we've got this army right here that we got to do something with. And we can also build up like um, another unit, which I think I'm going to use one of my poplars over Nepada in order to do that because it's really struggling for the stability. Uh, I'll uh, go around along the roads, that's for sure, with this army. I'll probably end up uh, just roaming around a little bit. We basically got everything we needed out of this particular region. So we can't really do anything else. And the Pada will wait. We'll wait it out for now. Let's see really quick. We got an event. So an, invin an inventor engineer ostracized uh, from her own country on, a, on account of her religion has come to you offering her scientific expertise. She wishes to settle in the city of Nepada where she believes she could work pro uh, productively. Her pioneer, pioneering work on the fundamentals of engines could be vital, but the fact she, the fact she is not a follower of the Nubian, Nubian Shanamism could make things difficult. What do you say to her? Naturalize, so learning on five cities, plus 20 science, celebrating. In the normal circumstances, I would welcome her any time of the day, but we're struggling so much, in, especially in Nepada with the the stability i gotta i need stability boys i just need stability that's just how it goes i'm sorry i need stability right now more than anything else so fortunately for her uh, i'm sacrificing her just so i can get that uh that uh upwards uh stability for my city in nepada right here because city is struggling like and nothing else it's crazy and also, once we finish with the common squadron, I'm actually going to start focusing on one of those. We can actually get scout riders now. We can get uh, those. But it, elephants basically do the same thing. So I'm more tempted to get an elephant more than anything else. So we're going to focus on that. Alrighty then. So that is uh, done. We don't have anything else to do. There is uh, a thing. Morians want to talk to us really quick. There's a, li a little pop-up. Okay, so she wants to trade or something. She wants to make a trade. What's going on here? I don't know why it was telling me the trade uh, that was happening or something. I don't know why it, why it was telling me that. Uh, I think... What does that have to do with anything? Open borders. What's going on with the open borders? I don't know why they're telling me this. I guess there's nothing going on right here. Can I... I can't propose an alliance. That's kind of frustrating. I want to be an ally with them or something, boys. That would be great. I guess we can't do that, so let's just end the turn. As we enter turn 60, we just encounter uh, the Mount Vivicious. And uh, we sold, we're selling a lot of resources, like obsidian and stuff like that, to our neighbors. They're really uh, are buying a lot of those resources that we got. We got plenty, uh, really. So, War Summons researched. The innovation of call to arms allowed different parts of society to train independently during times of peace leading to a bigger range of military units. We uh, just gained crossbowmen and pikemen. 
upgrading therefore upgrading our uh, our armies big time boys and these guys i can yeah i can upgrade them now so let's do that let's upgrade all of them into crossbowmen we also have this uh one right here we definitely want to upgrade uh these guys as well boom much better army now boys so we've got uh at least four crossbowmen we're doing really good our army is upgrading itself pretty good let's keep moving though let's keep moving across uh you can see that you can go very far away now because of the uh the way the road system works and stuff it really is helping out uh you guys are just gonna keep moving towards i guess because you're in the seas right in the shores you can't really go uh, go that fast that's fine by me let's keep uh exploring right here Okay, all right, so it seems like it might be going uh, like this. Uh, this guy is just going to continue to go over here. Really limited in terms of research right now, where I can go and all. I don't know, boys. Uh, you are just going to be upgraded, of course. So we're going to upgrade all these units. There we go. Uh, I don't know how may, how far park, pikemen's are actually uh, good or whatnot, uh, how good they are. Let's take a uh, look at our next science uh, pro project, though. So we can go for sea, uh, seafaring mastery, great ma fish markets, and also the cogs, so uh, upgrading our navy even further. But our navy is pretty far ahead right now already, so not yet. Tourney fields, so we can do these. Meharists, interesting, and knights, we can get knights. Uh, we can get heavy infantry, great swordsmen, oh, that would be great. Army logistics as well military architecture it's all about military siege weapons boys forts and uh absorb cities which was uh, give the ability to merge several cities together oh shit really so i could absorb a city oh that would oh military architecture we're going for that boys i'm interested by that absorbing other cities would be great I think I would do that for Kerma, like absorb Audagas into Kerma. Boom, just like that. And that would create a mega city. Same thing for Nepala is a mega city. I would absorb, I would probably ab uh, end up uh, absorbing uh, Nock, right? I would probably end up doing that. And Kumbai Saleh, I would keep it uh, for the shores and stuff. Definitely gonna do, would do that. That seems a really interesting thing. So uh, what else is... I don't have anything else right now going on. Yeah. So uh, a bunch of, of course, the my I, I'm letting the AI choose in terms of where the population goes at this point. I'm letting them choose. Don't really care too much. Uh, I feel like they're going to do a, a decent job enough. And um, that's fine by me. The way we're doing, we're doing fine. We're producing, we're getting all the resources we want. So that's fine. One thing I did want to look at is I wanted to look at what the pikemen's are all about so are they any good they're 31 of strength compared to my warrior units which are 20 or sw swordsmen are 26 these are close combat compared to these are anti-cavalry so these are just anti-cavalry units which are not really that good in itself i don't really care i mean i'm not i'm not doing any, any wars whatsoever so uh, these anti stuff like I don't really care about them too much So I can actually choose a new tenet boys, which we're definitely going to be uh, doing today uh, Army be became lost at sea. Oh these ones is my fleet. Why is my fleet struggling so hard boys? Why are they lost at sea because they're so far away from the, uh, my shores? I don't know what that's the case boys. Let's keep exploring with them I don't know why I would lose my uh, Navy right here. That makes no sense. It says they're losing health uh, now because they are lost a little bit. I don't know how that's possible. Let's keep ex uh, le yeah. Let's keep moving right here. We're almost there, boys. Almost there in terms of getting to the shores right here. I really want that to happen. I mean, I can't do anything. I can. I, I gotta eventually get to the city and uh, do the expansionist thing. Okay, so we've got. Uh, we're done with Columbi Silent. Where else do we want to go? Okay, so we definitely need food. We need uh, an extra food guy. That's for sure. Next up as well. What do we... I, I fi we need to focus on food. But we also have an arbor right here that we can build. So let's just bi quickly build the arbor real quick. 
just so it's done all right and that gives us more food in the process as well that's really good i'm guessing we need to go for food even further in this one we really need to focus on the food hardcore so let's put uh, put one right there there we go next up boys over here in knock a knock is doing fine but it does need uh it definitely does need uh food as well yeah we we need to focus on food over here i think there's this is a possible outpost right here right there's no okay yeah this is an unclaimed territory for us so this is a, a path where we can take an outpost and stuff right yeah i think it is boys i think it's a path one of the few paths in the continents where we don't have an outpost that we should have and that we i would definitely give that to kerma yeah, I would definitely give that one to Kerma, boys. For sure, yeah. That's definitely a, a way, uh, uh, something I would do. Yeah, give that one to Kerma. So Kerma would have a third one, third outpost. So we're definitely going to do that. I guess he's doing fine over here. We don't need to worry about uh, about Kerma, boys. And Audagast is uh, doing fine as well. The food is maxed out. And also the, m the science is not maxed out, but... We need to max out food and industry at this point. That's what we need to do. Let's take a look at our tenet really quick. Uh, what are we going to go for next? So we are now in the tier 3. So we're now into tier 3 of the shamanism. Of our religion. So develop the intellect. So uh, more science. Issue uh, gluttony. Which is uh, strength I guess. Land movement. Would be great moving faster and stuff. Uh, more influence on common squatter. Plus one mu uh, number, maximum number of all these sites as well. Uh, more money, more strength, war support and stuff. And uh, industry on the main plaza. Don't really care about the industry. Let's do this one. Uh, pros uh, proselytize daily. We're going to do this one. It gives us a plus to influence and all. So we're going to choose this one, boys. Boom. There it is. Perfect. So that's going to be uh, ours right now. That's what we're going to focus on. And uh, stone rings. Where do we want to build those? So we we need to build a, a set of stone rings again. We need to build some in... Uh, so 14 followers of statu of your statue. Religion. Okay. We actually need an outpost over here. See, it's telling us right there. Oh, inter that's interesting. So we need an outpost over here and we need one over here. Okay. Okay. Well, in that, in that sense... Yeah, I forgot. Uh, I forgot about the fact we didn't have an outpost right here. So this is where we're going to send our army for sure. We need to send them over there. I forgot about that completely, boys. Forgot about these places where we don't have outposts. What about this place, though? Uh, where's the outpost? It's one of these two. We're going to take this one for, as an outpost. So that's fine by me. Okay, and aside from that, I really don't have anything else. We got 20 of Populous. Over here in Nepada now. It's still growing though. Because we got uh, we got uh, a lot of food production right now. Okay, so we're doing... Yeah, we're doing pretty good. Someone needs to work on the stone rings though. Someone needs to start working on the stone rings. I believe that should be a job for... For Nock. I think Nock should have the stone rings. Or you know what? No, let's put uh, the stone rings in Nepada. Yeah, we need uh, the stone rings in the pala. Let's get a, a war elephant done as well. We're going to send him over there. And uh, okay, so that all, all of that is done. What I want right now, man, that that hurts my stability every time I build something. I don't I don't know why. That's going to give us stability at least. Stone rings. Can we not build any anywhere? So where can we build those stone rings? Oh yeah, we can build it anywhere we want. So in the pala for sure. And we want to build them right here because it's close to the shores. So I'm going to actually build them right here, boys. That will really help us out. We need 20 of Populous. I'm kind of tempted to do that for Napata, to be honest. Uh, but um, right now we're doing fine. We're going to wait it out. It's only going to take 7 turns, so it's not going to take too long. And uh, also, as long as soon as we're done with uh, all of these researches, we're going to help out with the research and all. Which I might actually do... I'm going to do right away. I'm going to do that right away. And there we go. So they're going to focus hardcore. It's going to take four turns now with the help of Audagast. If we take the common squatter, we quickly build it. There we go. We're going to work on that. That's three turns. So... 
Three CDs working on it. Three turns, boys. That's more than good enough for me. Now we're entering turn 62. Knock. And uh, Columba Sile got some extra Poplis that we know of. So Columba Sile is now at 20 of Poplis. Uh, growing quite fast, but only not producing a lot of food. Not producing a lot of food, but the, the stability is doing fine as it is. So I'm happy with what we got right here. Okay, so that's perfect. Okay, keep working on your stuff, I guess. Napada uh, did gain a populace. Uh, I want to move this guy, this unit right here. We're just going to start moving him. Uh, the war elephant. See how fast he can go? How many tiles he can go further? It's just crazy, man. He can go really far ahead. Okay, so you are just going to go here really quick. I want to see where where they want us to go. Okay, they want us to go right there. So an outpost right here, boys. I don't want to get any other city in this continent. As a matter of fact, once I get this technology right here, this military architecture, I will start using the uh, the, uh, the 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 thing that's allowed me to uh, connect two cities together or, some, or something. So uh, I think uh, we're gonna attach this one to Kerma. Yeah, we're gonna attach this one to Kerma. So Kerma gets some extra populous and stuff, and extra food and everything. So look at that, 150 food per turn. Kerma is doing is doing great. So uh, we've got that uh, going for us. And also, uh, we got this guy. So we've uncovered this land. We're about to uh, get ourselves an outpost right here. So let's uh, get you an outpost right here as well. There we go. World Deed complete. On another continent. Quite the globe-spanning imperialist you've become. Another continent, he says. So that counts as another continent? I, I have to disagree. I would have to disagree with that one, but uh, let's quickly build an arbor right here. This is a different continent. This is definitely a different continent. I feel like they count it because we're touching it, but uh, there we go. So this is a different continent as well, boys. It, it actually ends up touching us. Uh, Nock, you're going to attach yourself to this one. Boom. There it is. So Nock has, now has uh, three outposts, and that's pretty much that, boys. So we're doing really good right now. We're um, working hardcore on all these stuff. Uh, we do have a cathedral that we can build right here. Let's quickly build a common squatter. And for Kerma, uh, you can build a, a cathedral. Let me just do that really quick. Let's build a cathedral uh, right there, actually. Let's build it right there. That's where they want us to build it. Let's uh, quickly build it right here. So there's an extra a cathedral. And uh, now we can focus once again on the stone rings, which is perfect. All right, there we go, boys. And now for my armies, as you can see right here, my uh, fleet is going to just keep moving really quick, keep exploring. Uh, I want to see what's going on here. Is that like two different continents or is that the same thing? I'm not too sure, boys. Uh, if it's not connected, it's two different continents or islands, as you, uh, as you should say. And you are just gonna, yeah, you're gonna start moving towards there. So next turn, boys, is gonna be able to, they're gonna be able to land over here and get uh, some more units, I guess, some more uh, lands for us. I mean, I am gonna get some cities, but they're gonna be here. These cities are gonna be on the next area, boys, definitely. All right, so in one turn, we're gonna be having our thing. We also need one more territory attached to a city. And uh, we need to build some extra districts and, and all to get all everything we want. We have a new civic available, uh, which makes me think, uh, makes me remember that I do need to uh, try and save as much as possible my points so I can actually get those civics uh, done. So military architecture is research. We can now do siege weapons or a trebuchet. We can have forts and ha absorb other cities. All right, there we go. Army became lost at sea, so these guys are becoming lost at sea again, which is frustrating me quite uh, quite a good amount, boys. I hate it when they do that. Okay, there we go. So now they see more territories from um, the other faction. We haven't uncovered a single other faction yet. It might, it might be happening soon, but I don't know when. Napata is done with what he's doing. So, uh, hold on. You see right there, there's a thing right here. So it opens the list of adjacent city outposts to attach this city. So we can attach cities to this. 
So I want to do that. First off, Kerma. Kerma now. Absorb a city. You can now use influence in order to merge two adjacent cities together. This will make the the city become a, a single city. Okay, with infrastructure, films output, and construction queue and uh, merge together. Note that this will impact your city stability, though. I don't care. Uh, uh, absorb. Oh, in order to absorb another city, though, look at the amount of. Uh, okay, so it takes a lot of influence in order to absorb another city. Okay, got you. So if I wanted to absorb another city, per se, this one. Yeah, depending on what the city is, on its growth and everything, it's uh, it would take a lot. So okay, so that's not really a thing that's even doable actually. So never mind that, boys. I don't I don't think that's gonna ever happen. I actually need to uh, to build these things right here. There's some districts of a fort right here, so we need to build that fort. So we got that done. Now that we got that done, uh, I want to work on these things a little bit further. So let's split, let's put some games really quick because really need to um, to get those things done. We really need that stability, uh, hardcore. Let's get these guys interconnected, interconnected. So we got an army of five right here. There it is. So that army is fully completed, and uh, we're pretty much done with the the whole place. So. Let's start moving, boys. With the, uh, these guys, we're going to start moving to the new lands and stuff in, this, in the east. Uh, you guys can still move. Yeah, keep moving. Keep moving, buddy. All right. And Kerma, same thing for him. He's done with whatever he was doing. So I'm guessing right now we want to go for... Uh, we got some arbors we can build. Let's just build, quickly build an arbor right here. Boom. There we go. That's completed. We uh, can build more arbors. Let's do it. Keep uh, building those arbors. All right, that is done. We also want to build that fort. So let's quickly build it. We got a fort in Kerma now as well. And we're doing fine in stability wise. So I think I'm just going to end up uh, just simply getting a Quamarant Squatter. I mean, that's the way to go, really. Get some more stability, more influence per turn. Uh, we're doing fine in terms of all of this, like food, industry, and everything. I feel like uh, it's good enough as it is uh influence is the way to go really so let's just do exactly that let's get that right there that one done okay so now that that is completed we got out ghost right here out the ghost we're still working on stability we did definitely need more but we do have the fort we need to focus on as well quickly build the fort there we go and uh, now let's build a uh, quamarin's quarter which is, uh, they want us to build one right here, which we're, is exactly what we're going to be doing. And uh, for the next part, I think everybody else is still working on stuff. On, uh, uh, on, on like Nock. Nock wasn't working on anything, so we're building that for him. And I guess now, the one thing we need to work on the most, and recession, of, of course, we need to do recession. We need to work on the stability like uh, always. Upgrade that stability big time. So uh, let's let's get you over here, I guess. There we go. And now we can actually start moving these units right here, boys. Moving some units right here. So we're going to do just that. We're going to start moving these ones towards this uh, region right here. So we're going to be able to explore this new land. And for you, you're finally going to land. There we go. Finally landing on the new continent. Uh, we are going to create eventually an outpost, which is not too difficult to do. There's two different choices right here. So definitely going to do that. These are going to become uh, cities. So that's guaranteed for me. They're going to be eventually become cities. So I'm not going to attach them, these outposts, to any other uh, places, right? It's not going to happen. So uh, yeah, so that's going to be great for us. And uh, we're already done with all uh, with the rest. So. That's fine. We need to do a new research. Seafaring, chivalry, or heavy uh, infantry. Let's do heavy infantry so we can get the swordsman upgrade uh, our swordsman, basically, and, uh, and everything. So uh, all of that is completed. My dog is starting to yap a lot. So I'm just going to stop for a little bit of the recording and come back a little bit later on. So uh, remember to leave a like and subscribe to the video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.